Okay, Alta Beauty um, had a nice quarter today. We talked about this earlier in the week, and we were just saying it was a good time to get in. It's a good company, and uh, shares were still down from the previous quarter. The previous quarter, investors did not like that quarter, um, although I did not think it was that bad. Uh, investors had taken down the stock 30% on the day of earnings, um, and just seemed just a disconnect to me. Because I always think it's a good company. The, the stats show that, or the metrics show that. Uh, and the quarter was, you know, it was slowing down their growth to 14% or 12. I think it was 12. Uh, you know what? Let's not be guessing. Let's get it right. I have it right here in front of me. So it was, um, okay. R revenue growth was 12%. Margins were still pretty good. Maybe they were a little bit uh, tighter than before. Um, so that took the stock down 30%. That's, that's that's not so bad. You know, if you're only growing at 12% and your margins only come down a little bit, that's not that bad. Um, now this quarter came and all of a sudden shareholders are like, oh, everything's fine again. I mean, it's just the fickle way the market is. But uh, um, let's talk about this quarter. So this quarter has uh, revenue growing 7%. So it's actually slower than before, but... Uh, expectations were tempered um, and that was a, actually a tiny miss on the top line bottom line earnings only grew 2.3 percent so I mean that's nothing to be amazed about about uh, it was a beat by 5.3 percent so you know that is just an okay quarter uh, it was just the doom and gloom that people got from the previous quarter that they said oh that's not that bad so look overall this is a pretty good company I'm going to quickly go over the profile for those of you who didn't watch it last time. If you saw the one earlier in the week, you won't need to go any further. <laughs> I, don't, I never know who really watches all of them through, all the way through, but that's okay. Um, okay, so look, good high quality return on invested capital year in, year out. I mean, that's a long track record. In fact, a little bit of softness here in the you know 2009, 2010 area and then just powered forward and that's exactly what you want to see uh one small point i made at, at quite detailed in uh, the last video is this growth in capital it's not a true growth they've uh the ifrs which is the accounting um, governing body across the world now um wants everybody or or demands that everybody capitalize their leases now so if you have a lease Instead of you know having nothing on your balance sheet, you have to capitalize it as though you owned it. And of course, that'll pop up your capital if you have a lot of leases, which they do. And then it ends up consequently taking a return down. But this is all artificial. If that were all real and they actually put in this higher capital and the returns came down, we'd be a little more worried. But that did not happen. It's just an accounting issue. Um, and there you have it. So... Look, our default says it's worth 13, uh, 313. That's a intrinsic value, 19% upside. And I'm just gonna tweak the fade by 2%. So instead of declining at a, like an 8% fade rate, we're gonna use six. That gets us $392 on the intrinsic value. And that's a 50% upside from here. Okay, so it's still a pretty big upside. Um, <clears throat> I don't want you to feel like you're chasing it here because of you know, you miss the day and it's up 11%, but it's still down 22% over the last six months. It's still a high quality company. So I'm still supporting it. Um, I think, you know, that's my kind of company. Uh, good good in, uh, return on invested capital. And it's the number one thing we look for. Um, you know, this quarter was not amazing, but uh, I think it alleviated some of the disaster scenarios that some other investors were expecting so there you go alta beauty it's back in vogue